give than to receive. Say it. It's better to give than to receive. Okay? Brother, uh, Brother Linjo, Brad, Brother Linjo, Palihu, Brad, lead us in prayer. Remain standing, please. Nalaykon ng ikaw, Diyos, nga amahan gino, Lord. Salamat gino sa mo ang pag- Ani din hi salamat gino ilabi na Lord sa mga panalangin ni mo gihatag sa moa sa tibok simana ug ingon gino Lord nagpasalamat kami ilabi na sa mensahe nga among nabati ganihang buntag ug ingon man gino Lord sa among paghatag karon sa offering ug sa kanapulo gino ikaw gino magpanalangin ini kung gipasalamatan at kung gisalig Lord kini kani mantanan sa ngalan ni Jesus amen amen be seated please now we have the choir Tonight, and we thank God for them. Gentlemen, mayong hapon kanatong tanan. Thank you for continuing to be faithful sa atong uh, buluhaton diri sa uh, katipunan. Og salamat sa Dios nga makakuyog na sad na. I had been absent for uh, uh, quite a while. I guess uh, many Sunday nights we had a lot of uh, guest speakers. And of course, please pray for us also sa atong simbahan sa North in Mandawi City. We are celebrating our ninth church anniversary starting today. Uh, we celebrated it, and uh, we will continue celebrating for the whole month. We decided since the last experience we had, uh, since last year, when we had our anniversary, that our meeting place was overflowing. And so we decided that uh, this year we are going to celebrate for the whole month. And so we started off with uh, our celebration today. And uh, each and every area was given an, a responsibility to take care of uh, the visitors and, and all the things that needs to be uh, done for the preparations for each Sunday's uh, anniversary celebration. So today, once again, we had a full pack house. We had um, over uh, about 100 visitors, I guess, that were there. Uh, I was reading a lot of thick, thick um, uh, uh, visitors' cards, and I was just reading them out as we welcome our visitors this morning. And uh, many accepted the Lord Jesus Christ. And then uh, to next, next Sunday, we're going to have the second area that's going to take care of that and so on and so forth until the last Sunday. So please pray for us. And you have been a great uh, inspiration, a great blessing through your prayers. And uh, we will never forget how that God has started us uh, over there in the north. Um, 2001 was the start of our extension church over there. And so we are the 23rd extension of this church. And so it is a great blessing to be able to represent uh, this church in the ministry in the north and as pastor said a while ago please pray for our extension churches 
because these extension churches is really extending the ministry of this of our main church here in Bible Baptist and we also have our mission churches and Salamata this week I was able to visit our granddaughter church over there in Pagadian Pastor Eliseo Mantos is the pastor there and two of his children have graduated in our Bible school and they are there serving the Lord and we had a wonderful time in the World Missions Conference over there and um, uh, many pastors attended and according to the feedback from Pastor Mantos he said that uh, many of our pastors that have been attending our conferences in this conference now have really decided and determined that they will be involved in world missions and so they have made commitments towards that they first started off with supporting our missionaries that were there uh, foreign missionaries that were there first of all there was um, brother uh, Benancio Mampai if you remember brother Mampai uh, one of our missionaries sent out from our church he's going to Madagascar he was there and there brother June Pistine going to the um, to South Asia and uh, he was there and then brother Orsabia going to Indonesia or already is in Indonesia and so they started off with those three missionaries and we praise the Lord for the victory over there amen and uh, I also heard one uh, uh, um, testimony uh, from brother June Pistine he said one of the pastors came to him and he said God is putting a burden in my heart to go to tha tha uh, not, not to I'm, I'm really huh is it okay to say it okay he's going to Pakistan all right so nagampota sa kaninga pastor kay mo at ni surrender siya and said the Lord has touched my heart to go to Pakistan so he talked to brother June and so he said please pray for me and the process by which this is going to happen so it is a blessing to see many surrender to the Lord especially as we endeavor to um, be together in the last push I believe we are in the last push of uh, our ministry here in the world we are in the last days and at any time our Lord Jesus Christ Christ can come it may be today and so may he find us faithful stand with me once again for the reading of God's Word Romans chapter 16 and we will be reading two verses tonight a very simple message to remind us of our responsibility in our church Romans chapter 16 verses 1 and 2 Romans chapter 16 verses 1 and 2 let's read together these two verses okay are you there say amen if you're there all right together read I commend unto you Phoebe our sister which is a servant of the church which is at Sancria that ye receive her in the Lord as become saints and that ye assist her in whatsoever business she hath need of you for she hath been a succorer of many and of myself also let us pray in the name of Jesus Christ dear Heavenly Father thank you for your word thank you for the blessing of gathering together in this house of prayer house of worship together with your church your people and Lord I pray that you'll be the one Lord to guide us through the Holy Spirit as we dive into your word Lord I am your designated uh, preacher tonight messenger I pray that you will help me guide me through the Holy Spirit empower me I need you Lord tonight to be a blessing to your people I pray that each and every one of us will see the important things the important ingre ingredients of being a faithful member of your church we pray and ask that tonight if there is anyone among us that is not saved not born again that does not know for sure they will be with you in heaven when they die that may this afternoon may this night be the night of their salvation may they recognize and realize that this is the most important decision they can ever make in their life and Lord we want to glorify you as we continue our service thank you Lord for all the songs that have been offered all the um, uh, treasures that have been offered and all our praises that have been offered even the blessing of fellowship Lord we offer it all to you we thank you Lord for saving us and we pray all these things in Jesus name amen thank you you may be seated now many of us uh, only are, are not familiar with Phoebe but because Phoebe can only be read in this passage of Scripture Phoebe is mentioned only once in the Bible and when when uh, the Apostle Paul gave out letters of introduction to strangers to different churches that they were being sent to like for example Epaphroditus and uh, Aristarchus and and all the others like uh, if you read the whole chapter of chapter 16 actually the whole chapter is a commendation or a recommendation to the churches uh, to receive these faithful members and we want to see what 
the Bible really means about being faithful in our membership, being faithful in our local church. And I believe the Lord established His church as mentioned in uh, Matthew chapter 16, verse number 18, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I believe the Lord Jesus Christ established His church so that through His church, through His body, we can be able to touch this world as the hands and feet of our Lord Jesus Christ, the life of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the mention of Phoebe in this way means that she was probably, just a little background, she was probably the bearer of the letter or accompanied those who bo bore this letter, who, who took this letter to the church in Rome. Then the name Phoebe means bright and radiant. And so if you are um, a uh, pregnant uh, member tonight, b a believer tonight, and you are thinking about naming your baby, if it is a... Um, if if your baby is a girl, you know, I suggest you name, Phoebe, name her Phoebe. Kay ang ngalan Phoebe means bright and brilliant. Alright, bright. Dili na ka magpa-enroll sa Bright Academy. Kay ang ngalan daan, bright na daan. Amen? So, bright and radiant. And makita nato diri that Paul's comments about her seems that those words that, she, that, that are mentioned here characterized her personality and her Christian life and we would like to see this commendation tonight and that is the title of our message a excellent commendation and the name of, of uh, Phoebe now the Bible says that God expects us to be the salt of the earth the light of the world and to shine our light just putting a light on a hill so that we can influence and shine that light as far as we can as a church of the Lord Jesus Christ, as people of the Lord, it is up to us to be the mouth, the hands, the feet of our Lord Jesus, getting involved in our community where God has put us. This is our world. And thank God that our world has been expanded not only to this island, it has been expanded to our region, to our uh, country as well. And thank you, church, for continuing to invest in our saturation teams as we push forward to saturating this country with the Lord Jesus Christ. It was a blessing to hear one of my co-speakers this week, and uh, he was a pastor in, he is a pastor in Ozami City, and you know, he mentioned that ever since the war um, took place in Marawi, that the ministries over in that area, the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao, has opened up tremendously. And now they are thinking about starting 75 satellite churches from their church in Ozamis and starting out 75 satellite churches for there are 75 openings. Amen. We have to work at it. We have to work at all these things to love one another, to be devoted, to honor, to live in harmony and not judge one another, to accept one another, to greet one another, to teach one another, to serve one another and to encourage one another and to offer hospitality to one another. And, and this one another and one another is very important in the life of the church. So the first thing we need to look at this morning and to be reminded of this, this, this afternoon, I'm sorry. Jitlag mago. To be reminded of is the word sister means family. We are family. Secondly, look at verse number two. Ye that ye receive her in the Lord as becometh what? Saints. That's the second word that we need to learn this afternoon. In the church, we are all growing in the Lord. Sainthood, all right, paminawa, sainthood is simply an ongoing lifelong process of maturity now pastor when do i become a saint how many of you you are saved and born again say amen, amen. all right oh you can raise your hand all right the moment we became born again the moment we got saved entered into the family of god we not only have become a part of the family of god we are siblings we are also saints amen saints a couple of times i have been kanang me and my wife we have been um kind of walking together dito sa camp lapu lapu there is a lahug and my sister also joined us uh, last week and we're walking you know and kahuman i think that's more than a kilometer or about a kilometer you walk around and 
And after that, pahulay mi dito sa na church na simbahan nito. Uh, anyway, there's there's this saint na ilanggi si Teris, Saint Teris. So sometimes in nagpahuay dito ako ng tanawtan ako sa life of Saint Teris. She died at 25 years old, very young. She died of tuberculosis. Pero magigsuna na dito the path to sainthood. In the Bible, saints are people who have been sanctified, set apart by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. So once you are saved, once you are born again, we have been made saints. Amen? We do not need any promulgation, any letters, or any declarations to become saints. In the eyes of God and in the Bible, we are... And as we do our part, we are serving the whole body. Servant. Being the church means helping out. We don't have to, to help out only in major projects, but in daily things. The little things can add up into the big things. It's not all the time that we have big things that are going on. How many times do we have our anniversary? Only once a year. Ayo lang abtik kas anniversary ko manwa na sad. Uy youth congress na sad abtik na sad ka manwa na sad. Uy missions conference missions conference wa na sad. Dili kada adlaw na kahimoon. Still we call out to volunteers for our values ministry. We call out volunteers para sa atong uh, reformers unanimous ministry. We call out volunteers para sa atong mga mga children's ministries. Daghan diri mga kaigsunan nga pwede tang makaserve. We need servants in the church serving in different uh, ministries to be able to strengthen the whole church. The list could go on and on. Call out to our children's ministry, our youth ministry, um, naatay atong ladies, kaning atong uh, values ministry, kaning atong uh, reformers unanimous, sa atong prison ministry, sa atong men's ministry. Daghan kaayo mga kaigsunan. Amen? And by the way, after the service, I'd like to meet with uh, the leaders that will be going to the uh, spiritual leadership conference this coming February uh, 27 to March 1 just very quickly here here in the front and we would just like to make sure everybody is one page and if God has given you um, the gift of teaching there are naatay Sunday school naatay academy onya kung ikaw naakay Lord willing hopefully in the in the the next year or in the near in the very near future Makatukod ta na sa atong college, atong bachelor's college. One of, the, one of the reasons why we are expanding our facilities is because we want to put up a college. A college to be able to prepare our young people not only in the full-time ministry in the churches, but also ministry outside, even in secular work. You can be able to minister there. Amen. Amen. And so, kitang tanan mga kaigsunan, number one, pamilya ta. The word sister means family. The word number two, saint, means we are all growing in the Lord. And number three, the word servant means we need to help our church or one another being able to be faithful, by being able to be faithful in whatever ministry God has put us in. I don't know if you remember this, this man, Robert Morgan. But anyway, Robert Morgan once told the story of a preacher who was approached by a man who wanted to join a church. But the man said, You know, preacher, it's, it's really nice to join a church, but I have a very busy schedule. I can't be called on for any service, kanang volunteer work, to teach or such things, you know, and I can't help with special projects. I can't even help arranging the chairs or cleaning the church building. You know, I just want to sit through Sunday worship and then after that, I'll go about my business. The minister thought for a moment and he said, oh, so that's the kind of church you like. 
I believe you're in the wrong church then. The church you're looking for is three blocks down the street. On the right, you'll find it there. So the man followed the instruction of the minister and soon came to an abandoned, boarded up, closed down church building. It was a dead church. No one was there. Gone out of business. Church is about serving. Maybe you're wondering, why, Pastor Dugay na kung a Christian, why am I still cold? And why? You, maybe, you're not, maybe you're not serving. Look for ways and means to be able to serve the Lord in a ministry in your local church. Start small. Don't come and, and start, you know, gusto ko kaning kanitanan ako ni ayo. Start small. Tiglamano. Kanalang. Adi ka ganamo lamano. Tig greet. Good morning. Kanalang. Di ka ganahan mo storya. Smile na lang. Ana na lang. Then after that, you can start saying, hello. Then after that, you say, good morning. Then after that, good morning, hello. Humanana. Muasher na ka. Humanana. Ikaw na yung mubarog sa tunga. You never know. Big things start with small things. Amen? So, let's serve. Let's serve. Be like Phoebe. Kasara ga mention, pero bugat kaayo ang recommendation. 